Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your November 2016 general tarot forecast. Um, this is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Apologies for the delay and thank you so much for bearing with me. And we're just going to jump right in. As always, please remember that these are general readings, so they're not going to apply to everybody watching or not in the same way. You can watch your moon and rising sign readings for additional messages. And of course, if you're interested in a private reading specific to just you, um, the link to my website is always in the description box below. Aquarius, cool month. Okay, let me know how it goes, but it's looking really good. Um, seeing some commitments coming in, soulmates coming in. Okay, contracts, lots of happy changes, um, and the end of delays, okay? So, at the bottom of the deck, representing your underlying energy for the whole month, we have the lovers, and the lovers represents commitments. It can be in a love sense, it can be in a work sense. In a work sense, it represents commitments as in contracts, job offers coming your way, promotions, advancements, where you renegotiate contracts. In a love sense, of course, it's potential for new love, potential for true love, um, potential for commitments in terms of taking things to the next level, um, talks of marriage, moving in together, starting a family, that sort of thing. Um, it can also represent a choice um, at this time. Usually talks about um, a head or a heart decision where... For some of you, it can talk about, you know, having a choice to make and I and you have the safe choice versus what you would really like to do, but maybe you're not so sure you have all the resources or experiences, experience that is needed, uh, but it's what you would really like to do, okay? And so that's your heart, so a head or a heart decision for some of you this month. Um, so in your present situation, we have the world. The world is a major arcana card, okay, and it talks about happy completions. It talks about things coming full circle and you're ready for a new start, new beginnings, okay, uh, happening in your life at this time. This can also represent traveling, traveling the world. It can represent taking your business on a worldwide level or online where you reach people in new locations, maybe that you didn't have access to before. Um, this can be relocation with the world card. Um, this could be retirement. Um, or leaving a job, but you're, I feel like it's your choice, I feel, or if it's not your choice, it's just time. If you were there for as long as you were supposed to, and everyone's happy with what you did, everyone's happy with your work, it's just time to move on, is what I'm feeling with this. Um, or this is completion and celebration in terms of, as a result of your hard work, dedication, um, with a particular project, or in general, you have celebration, recognition, and reward, and then a new beginning coming in because it is crossed by the Ace of Wands. And the Ace of Wands is a new job, a new career, okay, for some of you. Maybe that's the head or, or heart decision. Do I stay in this job as the safe option or do I go, you know, go wild and go for my dream job or my dream career or start my own business? Um, this is definitely an opportunity that is presented to you and the challenge is not to take too long thinking about it. With the Ace of Wands, this is something that is not going to always be available, okay? The window of opportunity is not gonna always be open. So the challenge is going for it, you know? Just saying, you know what, it's it's good, it feels right, I'm gonna go for it. It can represent, like I say, a new job, because it's Wands, new creative project, new career, um, new relationship that you're very, very passionate about. Maybe a Gemini is important for you at this time, or this is a fire sign, a Gemini, uh, sorry, an Aries, a Leo, or um, Sagittarius. Uh, but for some of you, Gemini definitely, because it, it, keeps, it keeps coming up. Um, and so this is, it's just happy energy. It's just natural transition between, you know, you've been there for as long as you have, and, and for as long as you were supposed to, everything's fine, everyone's happy with what happened. Um, it's just time to move on and you have this beautiful new opportunity that you just need to act upon, okay? And, and it's just the right time for this and it's just the right thing for you. And it can take you traveling. It can ask you to uh, move, to relocate, okay, for this new opportunity. Um, this could even be moving in with someone, okay? It's the end of one cycle in the relationship and you're starting a new one and you're moving in together. This could be... Uh, uh, 
whatever, I mean, you know, it could be whatever new stage it is for you. It can be moving in together for others of you. It can be a baby um, or a pregnancy that you're just starting that cycle. Or talks of commitment, okay, and this is an offer that is extended to you and you really have to act on it, okay. Um, and the foundation in terms of why things are the way they are, we have the Page of Swords. This could be an air sign person, so Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. And I feel like this person, um, what I'm feeling with this is this pe this person kind of grew up, okay? This person was holding back until now, and now they kind of grow up, grow up and they say, okay, I know what I want to do now, and I'm ready for this, okay? Um, so for some of you, that's what's going on. For others, I feel like this is your energy. Until now, you've been holding back and playing it safe, and now you have the opportunity to really come out of your comfort zone, step outside of your comfort zone, come out of your shell, and go for it, okay, with whatever this is that you're really passionate about. This is also communication coming to you um, that I feel triggered the whole situation and put things in a whole different perspective for you and made you see things clearly in terms of what you really want to be doing with your life, with your job, with your love situation, with your health and well-being, creative projects, whatever this is for you. Um, this could be um, a contract or something that you were reviewing, a proposition that was made that you had to think about, that you had to consider and really look at the details of it and it gave you clarity if nothing else. In the recent past, we have the moon. So with the moon in the past in the past position, it says that you may be coming from a place of confusion. Uh, you may be coming from a place of soul searching, trying to find yourself, trying to uh, figure things out, trying to figure out what you want to do, trying to figure out what makes you happy, trying to figure out what you would love to do with the rest of your life. Um, lots and lots of soul searching, going within, listening to your dreams, your intuition, inner guidance happening, but a little bit of confusion nonetheless, okay? So I feel like whatever happened, put things into perspective, it made you see, okay, it made you uh, experience revelation as opposed to confusion and uh, giving you the opportunity to free yourself from a situation, to take something to the next level to move it in a direction that you're completely happy and fulfilled um, with, okay, when it comes to that particular choice that you, you need to be making. In your crowning thoughts, we do have the Seven of Cups. So again, it's a card that talks about confusion, not seeing things clearly, having too many options, you know, the, the world's your oyster kind of thing and you don't know what to do with it. Um, not really knowing what's best for you, okay, I feel for some of you. Um, For this, I feel like this has been a revelation. This is information that has been revealed to you. It was secret, okay? It could have been with the lovers. For some of you, you know, it could have been a third party, okay, involved. That could have been a water sign, a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, okay, with the moon being Pisces as well. And it could have been a situation where you had this decision to make, you had this choice to make between two people, uh, even though you were already in a relationship. Or you were single and you had a choice to make between two people. Or this is your partner coming to you and saying, this happened. Um, or nothing happened. Or clarity that is coming to you, I feel, um, is happening for you right now. For some, the Ace of Wands can be, you know, a bit of a, a, bit of a heated discussion. In terms of, you know what, I'm moving out, I'm leaving. Can't believe this happened. Um, and then you're severing ties with this person. So for some of you... You're leaving a relationship because of um, deception, delusion, manipulation, maybe a third party, but it's the best thing for you to do. And you see that now, and you see things clearly, and you're not afraid to, to pursue this. But I feel like that's for fewer, fewer of you. Okay, with the Seven of Cups, this is definitely contemplating options. I feel like you're at the end of a cycle in your life with your job or your relationship. You've doing you've been doing a lot of soul searching. You've been looking at your options, doing a lot of contemplation in terms of what would be best and what would make me happy and so on and so forth. And I feel like now the decision is clear. Now the choice is clear. And in the near future, so around mid-month, we have the Ace of Swords. And the Ace of Swords is clarity. It's victory, triumph, hearing what you wanted to hear, getting the news that you were hoping to get. This is also severing ties. So severing ties with an old way of being or severing ties with an old place where you used to live, uh, with an old job, 
uh, because you have a brand new beginning, okay, with the Ace of Swords. This is being victorious, and I feel like it's to do with this election process. Um, and you're the winner, okay? You're the victor. You, you're, you're starting a new job right now, or you're starting a whole new career. You're taking things into your own hands. You know what you want to do. You're the king in the situation. You're calling the shots in the situation. So for some of you, it could definitely be um, starting your own business, starting a, a new job or a new career, one that you're more passionate about, one that gives you more emotional fulfillment. And not, it's not all about the money. One that challenges you as well, I feel like, okay, for some of you, challenges you to grow. Um, and further, this is clarity, this is truth that gives you a new beginning. So for some of you, I feel like there may be some information being revealed um, in existing relationships, but I feel like it's not necessarily the end of that relationship. It's just clarity, okay, honesty, and I feel like that opens up a new world when it comes to that relationship because now you can be open and honest with each other. You can clearly and calmly discuss what's going on. Um, and decide what you want to do together, okay? So for some of you, that's the new stage in the relationship. In the position representing you, we have the Two of Cups. So the Two of Cups in the, in the position representing you, the Two of Cups with the lovers, um, the world, and all of these cards, it definitely says that for some of you, you're dealing with a soulmate. And what this means is it's not always going to be easy, and oftentimes we will be challenged because the soulmate comes in to help us learn a lesson, and unfortunately, we learn when we are uh, pushed against the wall, okay? When we are challenged. Um, and so it's just confirmation that you're dealing with the soulmate. Things are okay, but you're going to be challenged from, from now, you know, now and again. Um, but that's good because if you take on that challenge, if you look at the lesson, learn the lesson, you will grow together. The Two of Cups is also a card that talks about giving someone a second chance, reconciling with someone, so some sort of clarifying conversation in terms of what's something that happened in the past. Um, there may have been separation there or there may have been arguments there, but now you're coming back together, you're giving it a second chance. The Two of Cups can also be you considering whether or not you want to propose to someone and until now you've been keeping it a secret, it can be something as simple as that. Or your partner uh, has been thinking of proposing to you, and they're being secretive about it with the moon card, with the moon card and the seven of cups, and so that's what's coming to light. That is what is being revealed, and it's definitely being offered a commitment. So if it's not in a love sense, it's in a business sense. You're definitely looking at partnering up with another person, or taking on uh, another client, or uh, joining a new company okay with this two of cups and this is a solid partnership long lasting partnership fair balanced you get what you give in your environment we have the queen of pentacles with your with the, the queen of pentacles in your environment this could be an earth sign person a taurus of Virgo, or capricorn in your environment at this time um either helping you or supporting you um this could be a friend this could be a boss or a romantic interest you know it's going to be different things for different people but with the Queen of Pentacles in your environment, it says that you're planning for the future at this time. For some of you, this could be finding out that you're pregnant or um, your partner's pregnant, okay, towards like the third week of the month. Um, and that's, you know, that's what you're talking about. That's what you're looking at. That's your um, what's going on for you. You're planning for the future in that sense. Further, the Queen of Pentacles talks about financial stability, security, um, really working hard on that working hard on your financial stability on your independence financial independence and i feel like this is definitely rewards coming your way improvements in finances um and definitely more to follow and the queen of pentacles is planning ahead planning for the future so you could be putting money aside you could be budgeting you could be investing money in the home okay maybe that's what's going on the sale of the home finally goes through or the purchase of the home finally goes through this is you spending money on decorating redecorating okay so for some of you that's what's going on um and for this again this is a focus on on family whether you are expanding the family or starting a family in hopes and fears we have the eight of pentacles with the eight of pentacles this is 
um, whatever you're starting at this time, you hope you will be able to keep up. You hope you will be able to do a good job. You hope you will be able to learn what you're supposed to and do what you're expected to. It can be a new career or definitely a big change for you because with the Eight of Pentacles, this is the card of the apprentice. So this says you kind of have some information, you have some knowledge of what is, is going on. But there's a lot that you need to learn or there's a lot that you need to practice. Um, there's a long way to go, basically. But the good news is if you take the time, do it right, put in the time, the dedication, the effort, the energy, take it one day at a time, stick to the plan, this is guaranteed success, okay? Same thing if you're just starting to work on a relationship or um, going back to working on a relationship or this is working on a new phase in the relationship. Um, this is just saying, again, take it slowly, take it one day at a time. Have a practical approach, down-to-earth approach, focus on what is important. And the both of you are working together, okay? You're not just the, the only one working on this. So if that's a fear for you, it doesn't need to be. In the outcome position, we have the hangman. And I was looking at him and I'm, I was thinking, why does he look funny? Why does he look different? And I realized because it, he's reversed, okay? So this is him upright. And I don't have reverse, reversals in my deck. Um, so I don't know why he came out reversed and how he could come out reversed, but um, you know what? I'm going to read him reversed because that's what I got. Um, so the hangman reversed in terms of how you end the month is wonderful. This is the end of delays. This is the end of being stuck. This is the end of um, being stuck in that place of worry and uncertainty or uh, the end of being stuck in that job or the end of feeling unfulfilled, or the end of, of searching for yourself and searching for what you want to do. This is enlightenment that has come to you. You know what you want to do. You see things clearly now. You know what's going on. You had time off. You had time to think, to, to reconsider, and so on. You have this epiphany, this aha moment, and now things are starting to move, starting to move forward once again, okay, is what I'm picking up on with the hangman in reverse. Uh, this is getting back in there, getting back into the game, getting back into the the, um, the job world, the, the work uh, situation. This is you've taken time to consider what you want to do and now you're getting back in there and you're starting a new job or you're starting a new career and things are really taking off because you have this clarity. This is not being suspended anymore in terms of a relationship and not knowing where it's going. Now you have that clarity or you have the clarity in terms of you've been single for a while now you've met this new person and you're starting to move forward with them, okay? So it's the end of being stuck, you know, in being single. So it's awesome, awesome energy. I really look forward to your comments to, to let me know how this is working out for you, okay? And if the cards apply. So let's look at your guidance cards. For uh, career and finances, we have Teresa. Time out. You've been so busy taking care of everyone else's needs, but now it's time to stop and take care of yourself. So definitely... You've definitely been in a position where um, you were taking orders, so to speak, okay? You were taking care of what everyone else needed you to take care of. Um, you did a really fabulous job, but now it's time to stop and really think about what you want to do, what makes you happy, or stop taking orders and, and come up with your own idea and have your own business. Work for yourself, okay, as, a, as a, an energy that comes up with Teresa. And this could also be you've taken time out, and now you're just getting back in the game. And this could also be, you know, uh, you've done the safe choice, the responsible choice for so long in your life, uh, or as long as you have. And this is just saying, this is a wonderful time for you to change course to, and, and to go for what you really want to do, for what would truly make you happy, okay? For love life, we have playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So I, what I'm getting with that is for some of you, um, definitely to do with youth, to do with children. I feel like children are, are definitely in your in your environment or in your future. Um, this is definitely, I feel like, someone coming back together or someone having a clarifying conversation and then healing a situation, healing a relationship. And you do that by kind of releasing some of that heavy energy and just enjoying each other again, just having fun with each other like you used to. And for those of you who are single, I feel like this is saying, don't take things so seriously. 
okay? You, the more you think about it, the more confusing it gets. Don't hold back anymore, okay? Just go for it. Just be free. Just be who you are, okay, with the world card. And be open to possibilities. Be open to, to options because they're definitely coming in for you, okay, with the two of cups in there, with the lovers. A soulmate is on their way to you, okay? But you have to be open uh, to, uh, to the possibility because usually... You know, this person is going to be different than the usual type of person you go for. And so if you just keep your eyes open for one certain type of, pe of person, you're not even going to see this person coming in, okay? So this is just saying no more confusion and no more focusing on one thing or limiting your options. This is just saying be free, be in your own world, be confident, be who you are. Just go out and have fun. You will have a new beginning. It will be the end of you being single, okay? That's definitely um, in the energy for you. Um, this month so overall it's looking like a wonderful month i do look forward to your comments and let me know how things play out um thank you very very much for being here i hope the reading helps you and um, i hope you have a beautiful month and i'll talk to you soon take care hi again guys sorry i forgot to read the last two cards for some reason uh, for health and well-being, we have consult a nutritionist, dear Archangel Raphael, I turn my eating over to you and ask you to guide me to foods and beverages that taste good, are fulfilling, and support my ideal health and weight. So um, this is just some advice for you in terms of uh, feeling better or getting your, your diet under control or um, taking control of your health, okay, a little bit. Um, I feel like, you know, this could be a good option for you in terms of talking to a nutritionist um about you know what you um what would suit you better in terms of food and beverages and all of that i feel like this could you know give you a lot of good information useful information even if it's just about you know what how your body processes food um i feel like it will definitely give you a better idea of what's going on inside your body and how you can take care of it better and your overall advice for the month is you and your loved ones are safe Dear God and Archangel Michael, thank you for watching over me and my loved ones. Please help me feel secure and at peace and fill me with faith so that I may focus on my priorities and enjoy a healthful, happy life. So this is again confirming for you. It's time to focus on your priorities. Everyone else is safe. Everyone else is taken care of. It's time to put you first, okay? So it's time to focus on you. Everyone else is fine. So don't worry about it, okay? It's time for changes in your life. It's time to it's time for changes on a very individual personal level for you um, and it's a beautiful month to go through with those changes it's a beautiful month to just focus on yourself for once okay you feel like there's a lot of opportunities coming your way this month and if you keep thinking about everyone else you may miss these opportunities and that would be a shame because this is beautiful energy coming your way that is meant to happen in your life okay because you have these major arcana cards in here and really beautiful cards so definitely definitely embrace me time this month and do what suits you do what makes you happy okay put yourself first again everyone else is safe everyone else is taken care of so there you go that's the end of the reading <laughs> i'm sorry i don't know why i did that but there you go that's the additional information um so again i hope you have a wonderful month and i'll talk to you soon take care